Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this sultry smudged cold spotlight eye using the pencil method. So if you're ready, let's begin. To prime my lids, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base. You can also use a concealer. This is in the shade 2, which is the universal shade that they initially released and I've just been using this. Next, I'm going to be using a brown eye pencil from Jordana. This is the Easy Liner, but I'm just not going to be using as is. I'm going to be warming it up. I'm just using a lighter here. You can also warm it up with any kind of a heater, like even your hair dryer. That'll help to melt the product a bit and it's very easy to apply it after because it glides on so smooth. I'm going to apply it in the outer half of my lower lash line and then with my finger, I'm going to drag it upwards to get that reverse wing. And then with a small shader brush, this one's from Colourpop, I'm going to smoke this out and while I'm smoking it out, I'm going to pull some of that colour towards the inner corner as well. And that leaves us with a reverse smoky eye. It was so easy to do that. And then I'm going to be using the pencil in the outer corner of my top lash line. And again, using the small shader brush, I'm going to smudge it out, smoke it out to get a nice diffused look. That looks so pretty in itself. Sometimes I just do this, apply some mascara and I'm done. But today we'll do a little extra. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. I'm going to first dig into this beautiful silverish pinkish duochrome shade and I'm going to apply it in the inner third like I'm cutting my crease using a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to be using this beautiful lilac shimmer right in the center of my lid, blending out the edges so they flow into the other eyeshadows using the same flat shader brush by Colourpop. For transition at the crease, I'm going to be using this matte lavender eyeshadow using a blending brush. With a very light touch, I'm diffusing it at the crease in circular motion as well as windshield wiper motion. And once it's well diffused, I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow and smoke it out in my lower lash line using a smaller blending brush. And take your time to do this step because blending does need time and it's probably the most important step in any eyeshadow look. A well blended eyeshadow look always looks stunning. And if you want to add more color, add to this to intensify it. Don't take too much color at a time. That's when blending becomes a nightmare. And then I'm going to be using this deep purple shade to intensify my crease further using a small blending brush. Next, I'm going to be using a black eye pencil. This is the Cream Gel Liner in Black by Colourpop. Again, I'm going to warm it up so it glides on smoothly. And when you warm it up, make sure the fire is not touching the pencil, otherwise you can burn the pencil. All you have to do is warm it up for 10 seconds and then feel it with your fingers. Make sure it's not too hot before you apply it. I'm first going to be using this in my waterline, leaving a small gap right in the center of my lower waterline. And then I'm going to be doing the same in my lash line. And I'm also going to pull out a small wing in the outer corner. And this doesn't have to be perfect. We'll be smudging this anyway. So just go ahead and apply and we'll take care of smudging with a brush. And then using a small flat shader brush by Colourpop, I'm going to smudge this out so that gives a very smoky liner look. And then I'm also extending it in the outer and inner corners to get an extended lash line look.
I'm going to be using this bronze gold eye pencil from Rimmel. This is the scandalized eye pencil in my lower waterline as well as lash line in the small gap that I left right in the center. And over that, I'm going to be applying this shade only on my lash line to get that spotlight effect. To finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a good coat of mascara. And I'm trying a new mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. This is the, the Real Magnet Mascara. I'm so excited about this one. There's Real Magnet in the wand. So that helps to distribute the product all over the lashes and extend the lashes and make it look bigger. You can also use false lashes. I don't always use false lashes and today's one such day. I'm just happy with mascara. So I'm using a good coat of mascara so my lashes look voluminous and I don't have to worry about attaching any false lashes. And here's the finished eye look. I am absolutely living for this smoky liner and that little gap right in the center of my lower lash line where I have the spotlight that looks so pretty. To pair with this dramatic eye, I'm going to be using one of my favorite lip creams from Deck of Scarlet in Cappuccino. And here's the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this look and I hope it will inspire many of you to recreate this look. And if you do, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed down below in the description box along with all the products that I use today. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post several videos a week. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.